Have you been intimidated by basket quilt blocks? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this one quickly and easily. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make this beautiful basket quilt block with two different colors of fabric. Now, mine is a little bit of a scrappy version, so I have purple and orange, but I've used some different fabrics. But of course, you could do this with only two fabrics, or you can mix it up like this. This block is a little bit more complex than some of the blocks that I teach, but none of the steps are difficult. There's just a lot of steps. So be sure to follow all the instructions carefully, if you would like to see a post with written directions, you can always click the link below to go to that. So let's get started making this basket quilt block. This basket block is made up of a lot of different pieces. So I'm not gonna list every size piece that you need right now. Uh, it'll be in the description below, so you can check that. And I will just uh, define the pieces as we get to them. So to start off, we're gonna use four inch squares and you're gonna have eight four inch squares. So four of them are gonna be in color two or fabric two. I'm using some like orange and yellow prints and then two of them are gonna be in background fabric and two of them are gonna be in fabric one or color one, I'm using this purple one. And using these, we're gonna make half square triangles. So to do that, uh, we're going to put two of them together mark a diagonal line from corner to corner, stitch a quarter inch away from either side and cut in the middle so that we have um, half square triangles. So if you wanna see a full tutorial for how to do half square triangles this way, you can check the video that I have, um, but this is a really common way to make half square triangles. And so we're gonna make um, two sets that are with color two in the background and two sets that are color one and color two. And then when we make those half square triangles, we're gonna trim those down to be three and a half inch square half square triangles. So our half square triangle units are done and we have um, four of these and four of these. Unfortunately, we only need three of each, but we had to make four because this method makes two at a time. So you can use a different method if you want to make only three, but most methods do uh, make half square triangles in multiples of two. So we're gonna have some bonus half square triangles that we can save for another project. So we're gonna take these and we're gonna lay them out in a little nine patch. So we're gonna have the ones with the background fabric in the middle and then the ones with the fabric two, and there's my extra one. And then we're gonna take uh, a three and a half inch background piece and a three and a half inch by six and a half inch background piece. And so we can see that this is how the layout that it's gonna look. So we have our three half square triangles with background fabric and then our three other half square triangles. So we're gonna stitch this together to make a little square and this is gonna end up to be nine and a half inches square. So I'll stitch these together, put these together into rows and then I'll be able to join the three rows together. It's almost a nine patch block. So this is what this piece looks like when it's all together. We can see the basket is starting to take shape. This piece should be nine and a half inches square. So double check that and make sure that it's nine and a half. And now we're just gonna make the rest of the block that goes around this main piece. So to do that, we're gonna start off um, making two more half square triangles. And this time we're gonna use a square of this purple color and a square background. And these are three inch squares. So we're gonna do half square triangles in the same way, diagonal line, stitch and trim. Um, it's the same tutorial. And then we're gonna trim these down. These will be two and a half inches square when they're all trimmed down. 
So we have these two half square triangles. These half square triangles are going to go down to be the base of the basket. And then we're also going to have a background, two and a half inch square, and two background, um, two and a half by seven and a half inch rectangles. So we're going to begin by joining um, each each half square triangle to the long strip. So these are done and you can see why it's helpful to lay it out ahead of time because these are not exactly the same. You can see that they're in a different orientation and so it's helpful to just lay out the whole piece to make sure that you know how it's going to go together. So now I'm just going to join these together, join these together, and then join those two rows together. So it's kind of like a four patch, even though it's not four squares the same size, it's four pieces, one in each corner. So I'm going to join those together now. So now we can see that the base is added onto the block and we just need uh, one more thing to get this to be a full 12 inch block. So we're gonna have one and a half inch pieces. So we're gonna have one and a half inch by 11 and a half inch piece. It's gonna go on one side and then 11 and a half by 12 and a half inch piece is gonna go on the other side. And this will bring it to a block that's 12 and a half inches. So it will finish at 12 inches. So I'll put on the 11 and a half inch one and then the 12 and a half inch one. So here we go. This piece is 12 and a half inches. So it's going to finish at 12 inches in your finished project. We're almost done. All we need now is to put a handle on the basket. And we're going to do that with applique. So to make the template for that, I'm just going to take a piece of paper. And this can be any old piece of paper that you have. Fold it in half. And then on the half line, Mark a five and a half inch square. Three, four, five. And so if it is an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, it's already five and a half inches that way. So I'm gonna mark five inches this way. So we can see this is our five inch square. And then from the fold point to the corner, we're just going to draw a curve along that line. And then draw an inside curve about an inch or three quarters of an inch away from it. And um, you can uh, take your time with that. You can do that as many times as you want. And then we're going to cut that out. And I always find my cutting is a bit more of a smooth curve than my drawing. So that gives me a chance to correct. And then we're going to see what that looks like as our handle on our basket and because we have our block made we can actually put the handle right on the basket and see and I think it should be um, maybe a little bit smoother my end is a little bit pointy here so I'm gonna cut that in and make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so I can see how that's gonna look. So I like how that looks, but I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter so it's not the full um, five and a half inch, so I'm gonna cut off about three quarters of an inch there. So you can see this is how we're going to make the handle. It's just going to be um, play around with it and see what you like. 
and then these I'm just gonna mark those so they can get those off in the right angle and when I'm happy with that I can see yes I'm now happy with how that's going to be so I'm going to do my applique with feasible web applique but you can do yours with however you would like so I have my feasible web so I'm going to um, take a piece and I'm going to trace this template that I made onto the paper. And then I'm going to cut this out. I'm not going to cut out exactly on the line. I'm just going to roughly cut it a bit away from the line. And then I always can save these little scraps because I can use those in tiny appliques. You can see my other video about that. But once I have this piece, so we can see that it's just roughly cut out, I'm gonna fuse that onto the fabric and then cut on the line and I'll be cutting the web and the fabric at the same time. So now I have this cut out and I can take one last look to make sure that that is exactly how I want it. And then once I'm happy with that, then I will remove the paper. And then with the iron, I'll fuse this handle on into place. So here's the finished block. This is a really fun block. You can use it in a quilt straight or you can use it on point. You can use it just like this or it's really fun to add more embellishments to it, to add applique or embroidery or different things. You could put flowers in your basket or fruit, whatever you wanted to do. So I hope you have fun playing with this basket block and making it in a lot of different ways. For more quilting tutorials, be sure to check out ebaystudio.com.